the Silver River. Are you sick? Oh, no. I was just having such a dream. A dream? What was it about? I was flying over a silver river. And it was so awesome. <laughs> a flying leopard? I like to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh, hey, Leo. I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the Silver River! Just like in my dream! <gasps> Whoa! Leo, Leo, no, Leo! <laughs> this is just a bunch of moths. Come on, Leo, there's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream. It wasn't just any dream. It was the best dream ever. And I was flying in it. Oh, dear. We've upset our friend. And on his birthday, too. Um. Mappa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday. Um. And he really um. wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River? <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mappa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon named Mazu. He was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done. So they asked the river to make his dream come true. The river then turned silver and lifted him up, and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver but only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world, and Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the spotted one gives it to us by choice. <laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. And then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll idea. save yeah. him, and then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and, and what is that dangerous place? It's uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock! What was the spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> 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 Leopards don't fly, but I did fly. 
Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially cool. The Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow! Of course I want to! Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! <laughs> ah! Hey, watch it, okay? Oh, I can see Leo! And the Martins. Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock. What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm, something's not right. Come on, we have to follow them. <laughs> So, uh, where's the Silver River? Go! Go over there, to the very edge! I can't see anything! Hey, hey, 
Far away, in the infinitely vast expanses of the sky, high above the tallest mountains and the prettiest clouds, way up high is where the red deer lives. Sometimes he ventures down to the ground. The patter of his hooves makes the sound of thunder while the gleaming of his silver antlers makes the lightning. Being always hungry, he tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees as if they were grass blades. Nobody is safe from him. So if you see the red deer, run. <laughs> so there, that is how the story goes, kids. The Red Deer You see? We're building a house dam, obviously. Stay out of our way. And two, three! Whoa, look at that! It's a bridge! I've never been on the other side of the river before. <laughs> More reason, then, to check it out. Do you mind if we cross here, Mr. Beaver? Sure, go ahead. Just be careful. No, we can't do that. My mom says... No, she doesn't. You're just afraid. Stop making excuses. Tig, come on. Afraid? Me? I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, don't just stand there. Get back to work. Ugh. Oh, wow. Look at that giant tree. I've never seen anything so huge. Ah, oh, the great cedar, the father of the forest. Looks like a regular old tree. Let's go. <gasps> what if it doesn't want us to go any farther? <gasps> yeah, right. You make it sound as if the tree is magical or something. You don't know. What if it is magical? <laughs> Bunch of chickens. Me? Let's go. <laughs> Told you, nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Uh huh. Sure. It was just... 
just a bunch of birds. Hey, what's wrong? That's what the magical tree tried to warn us about. He tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees. So if you see the red deer... My son is missing. Marty, my poor baby. Missing? Just wait. I'll find him. We're coming with you. No. Take, take everyone to the river. I won't be long. All right, come on. You heard Leo. We're going to the river. Follow me. You don't need to worry. We're on it. We'll find your baby. where you are. Marty! You hear me? Marty! Huh? <laughs> we need to leave! you get here? <laughs> Is everyone else safe? Yeah, they're back at the river. We need to get out of here. Oh. Shh, be quiet. So long. I hope they didn't get lost. Oh, no. Oh, look! Look! Over there! There's someone running! <laughs> Marty! Oh, that's my Marty! Mommy! trees are gonna burn down. Come on, come on, come on. And two, and three, yeah! And again! The red deer! It's too close! Oh, we're not gonna make it! Jump on the log, quick! Marty! Uh -oh. Leo, do we really have to go in the water? Take again, really? <laughs> It's just that it's a little too wet. Tig, paddle on! Uh, We did, huh? Whoa! <laughs> 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 
So you all right? I was looking for you everywhere. The red deer is not to be trifled with. Mappa Pandiga, we are fine. You should have seen us take down the red deer. And we saved the forest. Meow. <laughs> hey, look. Now there's four leopards among us. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm a leopard. Okay, 